Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use remote processor calls in short terms RPC calls in the JS side. And we will see two different things like how to call the specific models data and how to also call the controllers of the Python side. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to translate one language to another language static code from the JS side in the POS and please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Odoo especially the point of cell development please visit the Weblands channel under the playlist you can see different types of playlist available in the Odoo development and here you can see different playlist available for the Odoo and this is the point of cell development tutorial is available right and in case you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow and we have a different social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how to use rpc calls from the pos side so let me go to the point of cell let me duplicate this one this tab and i will start here this pos session and meanwhile you can see here in the settings sorry in the languages we already activated two languages right English and the Hindi now and here you can see we created this button right and once you click here the different pop-up menus is available right so if you missed this discussion please check the last discussion I already explained how to use and here in this click event we are trying to get that how many active languages languages is here in this back end side to the front end side here all right so this is the basic example i'm giving you and according to this logic you can also implement from your side so let me comment everything here and simple like i will try to use like where and here i will give the variable name as a result then after I have to use the await keyword because this RPC we have to we don't know how much time we have to wait from the backend side okay so here like this right so we have to just use like this dot RPC and in the dictionary format we have to pass some keywords so for example let's say we are trying to if you already know about the XML RPC calls from Python side right if you aware about that part it would be very good to understand very easily if not then don't worry like here uh, we have to pass the few parameters the first parameter is the model right then after the second parameter is the args and in between which model and then after let's say we have to use the method so what is the like which method we have to call so we have to use here and simple like i will use here aries.land and the method would be always search underscore read okay and in the args we don't need to pass anything right so here at least we will pass as a blank parameter because search method taking a two parameter the first one is the search like uh, if you have any specific condition you can just pass here that condition right if not then you have to just leave as a blank and the second parameter is the field like how many fields you want to return so right now i'm not trying to add uh, any kind of fields like all the informations all the models data i want so right now i'm passing as an argument as a blank simple and simple i will try to print sorry not the print i print statement it will automatically open the print printer interface so console.log and here simple i will try to add a result okay simple what we have to do is only restart the service and in case you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained and simple i will refresh the screen and meanwhile i will also in open this console view and simple i will remove this all the logs and simple i will click here and you can see this rpc call already done right and we return as a two records the starting index from the zero 
and the first one is the English and the second one is the Hindi right and let's say in the backend side right now I'm trying to active this Arabic language okay so I don't want to override existing terms at the moment we have to wait for a few seconds to set up this language to active this language now simple close right and now you can see total three languages is available right and let's say you want to add only the you want to return only the id name in the code right so simple you have to pass here like let's say id the name is a field and the code is a field name right and simple i will restart the service refresh the screen remove all the cords and now you can see total three record is found name the code is this one the english hindi right like this you can see here and the total length is the three let's add here the for loop right so here let's say the wizard dot for each then after function and pass value as a value as a parameter console.log and record simple value that's it and I will restart the service I will refresh the screen and now once i will click here you can see only id name and the code is available in the for loop right for more information you can just add like this right this object okay and now now the thing is let's say you already aware about this model right how to call the backend models now what about let's say if you want to call also the controllers right let's say from this python controller so controller here i will try to add one more python file as a main.py file that file i will try to register here dot main right close and the main file the controller file i will try to add here let me close this one and simple i will try to add like from odoo dot import http right like class like pos rpc call example right http dot controller and simple i will try to add one more pos example right self and simple here i will try to pass kwargs okay and uh, i have to write down http dot route i have to define the route right so for that let's say the pos rpc example then after like auth would be the user and the type must be like json format return like let's say as a wizard so wizard equal to and here let's say we want to call any models right so for that we have to call here like http dot request dot env and here alias dot land dot search underscore read right and that's it and then after we have to just read on this wizard now the first point is we have to call this controller right so for that like let me comment this part like here wizard await oh, this dot rpc right and simple we have to use here the route as a keyword like which route we have to use so this route we have to call right 
and in case the in there are any parameters is there so simply no so we have to just pass out as a blank array like this right and simple we can just at the moment print out the result okay so i'm trying to restart the service no need to upgrade the module and refresh the screen okay let me close this logs and now you can see three different records we generated including the source code right you can see like this this is the base 64 code right and let's say you want to display in a loop so we have to just uncomment this part and refresh the screen okay and now once i will click here and now you can see the record the first record second record and third record right so like this way you can call rpc using two ways like you can call the specific models method or using the controller right using this rpc remote processor call feature the library in the front end side if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be like how to add the dynamic values in the pop-up screen all right so see you in our next session